now i tell you some current news that is going to happen three years ago the lord showed me which i have now made public that the present pope is the false prophet you will heard that now and subsequently over the years the signs of him being the false prophet mentioned in revelation 13 are coming to pass one by one this year he has made an announcement the announcement is the formation of one world religion and an invitation has been issued to all top religious leaders on the world to gather together September 2020 in the city of Hague in Holland at a place called the Peace Palace to sign the covenant of one world religion it's been set September 2020 and if the one religion comes to place and you know the coming of the Antichrist is just around the corner around the corner because this needs to come first the world needs to be united together with one religion then comes one nation then comes one economic power all will follow one after another one unified identifying number for everybody and we can all do transactions on the internet don't need to step out of your house anymore is it good in a sense is good but it's a trap you don't even need to get out of your potato couch with a smartphone in your hand you can do everything see good or bad good good you become fatter you get fatter you keep on eating potato in one hand and you have your mobile phone on your other hand you know even the TV industry because I'm involved in television broadcasting I know what's happening in the broadcast industry there is a talk in the broadcast industry to shut down televisions and to migrate to internet the, the this talk first came out when we first started our television ministry in the year 2004 the people in the broadcast industry predicted tele television will die this was 2004 today with the advent of internet broadcasting and the social media television will die and all manner of videos or movies will all migrate to the internet an experiment was done by all these powers to be through Netflix Net how many of you have signed up for Netflix come on come on I know you come on come on now what's the convenience of Netflix you don't need to go to the movie theater the movie theater comes to your house see you don't need to get out from your potato couch you sit there the movie theater comes to you now because of the success of Netflix now Disney is going to embark on a similar route and when so when Disney made an announcement Universal Studios they made a similar announcement every one of the top movie industry producers have made announcements that they'll all migrate towards the internet so it's just in the palm of your hand with your mobile devices your mobile smartphone your iPad your laptop it's 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 a media on the go 
and it will all be controlled by the World Wide Web. And a new Wi-Fi code is coming, you know. And you know what's the amazing thing? They have a code for the new Wi-Fi. It's called number six. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't stop being amazed by the choice of the number. It couldn't have come at a more opportune time. That's a prophetic sign. I just read in a broadcast magazine that I used to get a new Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi 6 that's the code why of all the numbers must be 6 right see the world is getting ready for the mark of the beast mark of the beast the world is ready is the church ready no that's the problem we are blind deaf and dumb be careful now my stand is this many people ask me this question so I tell you today, my stand is use technology as much as you can until it will come to your hand. Yeah. Then say no, stop. Then stop. Use it as much as you want, you like, because it's good. There are some good points in it. However, the catch is don't become a slave to technology. You must learn to survive even without them. But today, people can live without food, can live without water, but not live without Wi-Fi. <laughs> Don't laugh, you all are guilty of that. <laughs> Whenever you go to any new place, what's the first question you ask? What's the password? <laughs> right? We are all guilty of that, me too. Me too, I'm not a holy saint. I do the... <laughs> when I check into any hotel, the first question is, what's the password? <laughs> Some say, no password. See, I'm being honest with you. We are all slaves of technology. But don't become a bonded slave. Use technology. They are good things. Today, our studio is wireless and peopleless. It's all automated and the technicians don't need to be there physically. All fully automated. This is what the Lord told me in 2010 to migrate towards a fully automated. So every Saturday we fast and pray. So all my staff, 130 of them come together to fast and pray during the four hours that we are in prayer, no one is manning those equipment. They all run automatically. Of course, the angels are sitting there and look, making sure, <laughs> making sure all is moving perfectly. See, you have you become wireless and peopleless, and that's what the technology tomorrow will become. Have you heard of artificial intelligence? Yes. Take note of that. That is going to be a powerful tool in the hands of the Antichrist. Few years ago, you know, I was always fascinated by Revelation chapter 13. How is the false prophet going to cause life to come to a statue and the statue will speak, the statue will think, the statue will decide and the statue will act upon orders. How? So I thought maybe somehow he will have some magical powers and cause a wooden pole to become alive. If God can do that, maybe Satan can do that. He didn't transform a wooden pole to become a cobra. Right? So I thought like that, you know. But a few years ago, to be exact, two years ago, I was meditating the scripture one evening and I, when I read the scripture and he will cause the statue to speak and the Holy Spirit said that is artificial intelligence. At that time, when I received this revelation, artificial intelligence was at its infant stage and at, 
and it has not become full blown like how it is today now i'll tell you something more interesting now in revelation 13 it says the false prophet will cause the statue to speak now the false prophet i told you earlier is the pope right a few years ago vatican sponsored a world congress on artificial intelligence all the top brains in the world they gathered together in vatican to discuss about artificial intelligence why would vatican be involved in that because it's something scientific right why why have a religious person be involved in that now that proves the power that he will use in the last days and the artificial in intelligence is get is getting better and better and better to what extent to the exact extent as how we are with the with plus plus features which we do not possess so that's what is going to go towards how many of you have uh, iPhones now when you send a message before you type a word the comp the system itself will suggest to you those words right it makes typing easier now what is that artificial intelligence it reads what you regularly writes and then it helps you by giving you all those words okay these are the words you use regularly why do you use your brain don't use your brain let me help you this is all artificial intelligence in its early stage and it will become full-blown in the days to come number nine oops number eight <coughs> this shows me that all of you are alert <laughs> it's 115 now shall i stop no. shall i continue yes. okay it won't be much longer number eight babylon will be a great military power how do we know revelation chapter 17 verse 3 and 7 says it is seated on a beast with seven heads and ten horns and the seven heads and the ten horns the angel interpreted to the apostle john as seven nations governments that will be, will be so militarily powerful that they will surrender their entire military power to the beast to the to babylon so the babylon becomes a military powerhouse something like nato nato is a group of nations together that is formed to support one another to fight for one another something like that number nine new babylon is anti-god and anti-christians and revelation chapter 17 verse 6 chapter 18 verse 24 tells us that the new babylon government will kill christians christians will be killed beheaded churches bulldoze close godly prophetic church leaders will be imprisoned tried in court and even killed so if you are not ready today for persecution how can you survive the hour of trial that will come upon the whole world you must be prepared now persecution is coming what do i do be strong in your faith be resolutely determined no matter how much you are tortured you will never renounce the lord jesus you must prepare even your children and your grandchildren to be ready even for martyrdom you know during the seven days of fast that i the lord called me to one of the subject that he talked to me about is 
the worldwide persecution and martyrdom that is coming. So he said, I want you to go to seven nations next year and conduct martyrs conference and prepare my people for what is coming. So among the seven nations, one is the US. So if God willing, we will do a martyrs conference in Cincinnati, Ohio next year. The dates, they are working out on the dates. I don't want that to clash with our conference. They are proposing in August. I don't want it to clash with our annual homecoming here. So we must be prepared, not only you, but also your children. Because one way to get to the elders is through the children. You can be strong, but if the soldiers come and squeeze the neck of your children or your grandchildren, can any one of you just stand strong to see your grandchildren be squeezed to death? No. See, it's easy to say no now because you are not in the situation yet. But when you are in the situation, your emotions will run wild. It will take over you. And what will you do at that time? The greater tendency will be to save your grandchild, you will renounce. You will be greatly tempted to renounce. To prevent that from happening, you train your children now. That's why the Lord told me about seven years ago to prepare the children for martyrdom. So we have a special program on Angel TV called Warriors where I have a bunch of kids together with me and I teach them stories about martyrs. How the martyrs in the past have lived and then I teach them the principles of what we learn from the martyrs. And through that program we have raised up an army of children martyrs today who have become so resolutely strong that no matter what happens, they will not take the mark of the beast. I have done that. So should you. Amen.